Hello and welcome back to the third and probably final part of my let's play of Grimm's Hollow. In the last episode we discovered the second ending which was already a lot nicer than the first one, but we still got two more to discover and that's what I'm about to do. So I guess let's go. <laughs> Here we are, death 5 I suppose should be the right one. So yeah, let's continue. So to get the third ending, we need to max out our stats. So let's try to do that. <laughs> and reap more ghosts. So powerful. It's purple, right? Oops, <laughs> that was not intended. But it's all right. It doesn't make a difference because, as I've said, we are so powerful. <laughs> okay, forty-five spirit energy, and there's more here. we can unlock right now. Uh, here we are, Lavender's Spirit and Shatter. Yeah, sure, let's improve. And that's done. Still need this and can't get it yet. So we need to reap some more. <laughs> I'm really curious about the next endings. Uh, I wonder yeah, what, what the difference will be. I wonder if Lavender has a way of coming back to life or if Lavender at least um, decides to send a message to her mother um, if her spirit is completed first. Because I think that would make the ending even more wholesome. <laughs> okay. Because that, that was uh, kind of her main regret in that last ending we got. Uh, at least as far as I remember. Um, yeah, but other than that, that last ending was already quite nice. <laughs> uh, I mean, with Grim knitting sweaters and all that, that was quite cute. <laughs> okay, got rid of the clingies and got two chocolate cakes and can definitely unlock some more stuff now. Uh, yep, learn sleep, improve flinch, 50, 25, we can learn that. Okay, we need more for this. So we need 100 already, 150. I think there might be some more things to upgrade after that, so uh, more levels basically. But we'll see that later, I suppose. I mean, we are reaping really quickly, so shouldn't take that long to get there. chocolate cake. Okay, here's just the shop. It will be, uh, well, it might be hard to lose to the baker when all our stats are maxed out basically because we will have a lot of defense and yeah, um, I wonder how much damage the baker will do in the end. 
but I suppose it uh, <laughs> shouldn't be that hard to lose, so we'll manage. Damn. Damn. <laughs> they really don't want to fight me, I think. There we go. Eh, too quick. <laughs> but still good enough. Yeah, I don't have much to talk about here. Um, can't think of much to tell you while fighting right now. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'm just reaping these ghosts. And as soon as I'm done with that, I mean, let's check where we are now. We can definitely unlock everything that we had looked at before. But this seems to have a third level. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we might actually be done now. If this is all, mm, seems like it isn't. Oh, here, sleep has another level, but then we should be done. And it's only four spirit points that we need now to complete it. So let's see if this is the last fight before we meet the baker again. All right, ghost faded away, 35 spirit energy and a deathlicious donut. And um, let's see if this is all. I think it is. Lavender's spirit is whole. That sounds good. <laughs> so I guess it's time to face the baker. Not quite for the last time. Um, I think I'll fail first or try to fail first and then win because I'll just assume that winning will give us the better ending, although I'm not really sure since um, being so powerful and deciding not to defeat the baker might be uh, the more honorable thing to do, but I guess we'll see. I'm gonna let myself get defeated first. And if we get the better ending first, that's fine too. You've seen this, do you want to skip? Yes. Skip, skip, skipping. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Not gonna date. <laughs> long until I'm defeated, so that's cool. Okay, just one more hit. Then we'll see the third ending. There we go. No, I... I won't let you... Lavender! Please stop! So far it's really similar to the first ending. Wake up! P 
please wake up I Grim you're here quick you gotta do something the baker he was just he, he was just he is gone yes I received your message, but if it isn't too much to ask of you in your current state, would you mind explaining to me what has happened in your own words? You explained to him that you were traveling in the cave with him until the both of you had stumbled upon a ghost with a soul. He stole the soul, trying to go back to his life, but you had chased him down for it. You fought, but he... He went back to life. But you can bring him back, right? You can just go through there and take him back. Or you could just talk to, I don't know, God or something. Ask him nicely, bring him back. I have already mentioned this to you. I cannot, di I cannot do either of those things. I cannot pass the barrier to the true afterlife, nor can I contact anyone there. What can you do? Nothing. Nothing? Not a thing. No. No, that can't be right. Lavender, I'm sorry to interrupt you. But what happened? Really? Why the sorrow? Were you hoping for a chance at life too? N no. I mean, yes. Lavender, you have been lying to me since you came here. You lied to me about the walk. You lied to me when you said you were okay. Please, confide in me. I don't have the energy to keep secrets anymore. The truth... The truth is, that soul belonged to my brother. Timmy, you can come out now. Are you sure? I'm sure. Hello, Mr. Grimm. Please don't hurt me. That won't be necessary, Timmy. For now. What do you mean, for now? It stands to reason that since Timmy has only lost his soul recently, he is only an early ghost. That explains why he isn't hostile like other ghosts. Until your brother starts to show signs that he is transforming into a hostile ghost. We can keep him around whilst I look for a solution. Ooh, Lala. Signs? Well, it begins small. La la. Typically, there is a slight change in their appearance. Lavender! What is it? That only gradually gets worse. Put me in your pocket. Until finally, there's an absolute flip in their personality. Why? You just came out. Please, Lavender. I'm not feeling too good. Why are you both whispering? What is the matter? Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Really? Krim, what's happening? It seems that the time is much sooner than I thought. Lavender? I hate to say it. Ah. Uh, but if you want the best for your brother, we should reap him soon. Are you kidding me? No! Listen to me. If we let your brother fully transform, the both of you will suffer immensely. It is better to end it now, than let the situation get worse. No, I can't let you do that. That's the one thing I've been trying to prevent. There is no other way. You... you don't know that! 
I have given you your options, Lavender. I do not want to take him by force. Really? That's a shame, because I'm not moving and I'm not saying goodbye. You are letting your emotions control you. If you do not say goodbye to him now, you will regret this. Come on, Timmy, get behind me. So be it. Let's try to win this. <laughs> He would turn Hurstor and he would be forced to reap. And yeah, we've heard all this before, but I suppose somehow things will turn out different differently. Grim can't be trusted. <laughs> okay. Willpower, we don't know. Attack, we don't know. Defense, we don't know. Agility, we don't know. Okay, that wasn't helpful. Let's drink some more, I guess. Do you expect me to hand over my brother to die? This is the problem with all you reapers. You all seem to forget that you are all already dead. Hmm. Okay. Still the same so far, no matter what we do. Passed out. No, I... I won't give up. I can't let myself faint. La... Er... Lala, where are you? Help! You are still awake? Lavender? Okay, this is different and I can do things again, but I can only walk to the left here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, definitely not a good ending. I mean, they are reunited in the after afterlife, so that's something, but still, um, yeah, this definitely doesn't qualify as uh, a happy ending, I'd say. Okay. Um, I guess let's retry and see what happens if we defeat the baker like this. I wonder if it will be mostly the same as that second ending we got before. But uh, there's only one way to find out. Let's win this duel and do some more skipping before. <laughs> Seems like my estimate of uh, this taking about half an hour is pretty much on point, so far at least. Ghost faded away. <laughs> Lavender, what are you doing? And stay down. Lavender. Ah. 
Why in death are you mutilating our local baker? And to that extent, my friend, with your scythe? Be be because I... Uh, look! You got the message, right? So it was true. I was hoping with all my heart that it was merely a false rumor. And who does the soul belong to then? Uh, that would be me, Mr. Um, Mr. Grimm. My, a talking ghost. You are a rare lot. Call me Grimm. So, uh, pardon me, what is your name? Timmy! Timmy, how did you lose your soul and become a ghost? Well, it's a long story. I have time. I also have tea, if need be. You take a deep breath. You retell your epic tale to the Grim Reaper. Ah, so you are siblings. I wish to death you had told me this sooner. I could have found that soul before any of this ever happened. Why didn't you? What if... What if there was no soul? What if Timmy couldn't go back home? What then? What would you have done with Timmy? You must reap hundreds of ghosts a day. I am sorry that you thought of me in that way. I am also sorry that I was so late. You can make up for it. Hmm? This is nice, but... I am... Exhausted, Grim. I want to get this over with. I don't want to let the soul slip out of my hands a second time. So, tell me. Now that we have the soul, how can Timmy become living again and not like a ghost? It is simple. He just has to eat the soul and then walk through there. Wait, I have to eat the soul? Is that what the baker tried to do? You It must have a saliva on it. The baker lost his face. He does not have a tongue nor saliva. If you want, I could drag his fainted body here to show you. That won't be necessary, Timmy. Very well. Then I guess this is it. Knock yourself out, Timmy. Not literally, though. If you do that, I'll be mad at you. <laughs> do I look different? Timmy! How do you feel? Alive! Sorry, souls make me gassy. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to go. Yeah, sorry I'm a bit distracted. There's someone laughing really loudly in the hallway. <laughs> uh, so I kind of didn't get the mood in my pronunciation or my presentation here. Well, I guess it's time to go. Mom's probably missing you. Goodbye, Grim. Goodbye, Timmy, the living boy. Let's go, Lala. What's wrong, sis? I can't go, Timmy. Why not? I'm a reaper. I didn't come here with a soul. But, but you said... Lavender, you're lying to me, right? Are you trying to be funny? There's no joke this time, Timmy. You told me you were coming with me. I did. I lied. Why? Partially because I hoped there was still some way out for me. Largely because I couldn't bear to tell you. Ah, gosh darn it, Lavender! Why are you always trying to be so protective over me? 
Let me help you for once. Grim, take the soul out of me. Give it to my sister. Um, Timmy, are you insane? I don't ever want to see you throw away your life like that again. Literally. But I don't want to go home without you. You deserve to go home too. Mm, I chose to let me do this for you last time. So let's try. This is the way it is this time. This is the way it is. I wasn't meant to live beyond now. You are. That's horse poo. Okay, it doesn't seem to change anything. I remember this. That's true. Then I guess I gotta go. Timmy, wait. Let me just have a short word with your sister. Huh? Okay. Grim, what's the holdup? You are already late. You can walk with him. Huh? You can walk through the gate with Timmy. In the short time you've been here, it looks like you've reaped enough spirit energy to pass on to the afterlife. Of course, you can always go later. There's no hurry. The... the afterlife? I didn't think the time would be so soon. But if I'm not going through that gate alone, I think I can handle it. Sis? I'll walk with you through there. I won't be there on the other side, of course. We've gone through that. But I can still be with you right until the end. Okay. That day, you said you were going outside. It was around the time of Dad's death anniversary. You were more down than usual this year. So quiet. You were st we were staying in a motel because of Mom's business trip, and she was running late because of the snow. You said you were going out for a walk. It was dark outside. Just for a couple of minutes, you said. I followed you. I can't remember why. I think I was just worried about you. You went into the woods. I called out your name as you kept walking away from me. You kept telling me to go back. You kept saying, I'm fine, over and over again. When I finally caught up to you, I took your hand. You turned around. And then you tripped over a rock. We tumbled into a hole. They found us together at dawn. They told me that I had entered a coma from the cold. They didn't tell me this bit, but you had your arms wrapped around me when you passed away. That bit I overheard. I can't describe to you what, I, what it did to mom. She had not only lost dad, but you two, only a couple of years apart. You may have doubted it, but she really, really did care about you, you know? She always felt guilty about how she acted the year dad died. She said she always admired the way you carried yourself but she wished she could take more time off work to see you. Before then, I never realized how much you actively avoided her. I realized a lot of things about you after you died. 
why you were always so insistent on doing everything by yourself, why you eventually stopped talking about your friends from school, why you started spending more time alone. You were afraid of relying on anyone else. You didn't want to open up to anybody. I know, because I was the same when I lost you. It wasn't easy. Before I lost you, it was like I had been living in a safe bubble. I walked to school with you, you had breakfast with me, you helped me with my homework, you washed my plates for me, you even tied my shoelaces. It never occurred to me how much time we spent together. School was worse. When I walked in, there was an oppressive silence. I couldn't talk to my friends properly. I felt I had to behave the same as I used to, but I couldn't, so I would get frustrated at myself and start crying. What I was worried about was other people leaving me too. I didn't know how to explain to other people that I had talked to you when I was in a coma. Grim, Baker, the ghost. There wasn't a day that went by where I didn't think about it. It seemed too vivid to be fake. Little things used to upset me that I couldn't explain to anyone. I didn't really like sweets or pastries anymore. I felt alone. I took to drawing a lot, but I had to hide it since my teachers complained that I was drawing too many skulls in class. I was a morbid kid. But I think I grew up fine. After all, I was lucky in a sense. I wasn't so alone. Mom was there to support me. As time passed, I realized so were others. What I remember the most about that trip now is you holding my hand as we walked through that gate. I remember thinking of how hard you worked to save me. And at the beginning of every day, I still do. All right. <laughs> That's still a really sad, but also really beautiful ending. <laughs> beautiful, sad. <laughs> And yeah, really nice picture here. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I've said so many things before. I really like this game and the story that it told and um, the way it told it and all that. Yeah, the two happy endings definitely were my favorite endings. <laughs> in very different ways kind of i mean this is just beautiful and emotional and cool and the other one was also beautiful and emotional and also had um, a sweater knitting grim reaper <laughs> which kind of boosted uh boosted that ending a bit but yeah um like hearing the backstory how it all happened and also what happened kind of getting a glimpse of what happened after to timmy is um, yeah uh, a really perfect last ending as well because it's giving some kind of closure so i enjoyed this a lot as you can probably tell <laughs> so let's click on and see if anything else comes up but it doesn't seem like it just the ending credits once again not sure if the background looked always like this on on the credits but it might have <laughs> yeah this was great and i still can't believe that this game is free i haven't yet donated anything to the developer but i'll definitely remember to do it 
maybe right now, maybe tomorrow when I upload this video. Um, because yeah, as I've said before, creating such a beautiful game and um, giving it out for free, <laughs> that deserves some recognition. And since I think I have a few bucks to spare, I think this is um, a good way to invest them, to, to show recognition to, um, to the creator of this game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's all. I think if I were to, um, to continue talking, I would just repeat myself and tell you things that you already know. I hope you enjoyed watching me play this game and uh, I hope you um, find these endings as uh, beautiful and uh, um, yeah, noteworthy as, as I do. Uh, yeah, if you did and if you want to see me play more indie games, uh, I guess you could always uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. You could also head over to Twitter and uh, visit me there and follow me and I'll be sure to follow you back so that we can stay in touch. Or you could he um, head over to Twitch and um, check out if I'm live streaming right now or um, yeah, follow me there as well so that you don't miss it when I do go live. And I do that quite frequently and it's always a lot of fun, at least I think so. And the people who gave me feedback think so as well. So <laughs> might be cool if you join. Yeah, I guess that's all. I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care. Bye.